Good afternoon. It's June 18th, and today we're going to look at news aggregators, which to me is one of the best ways to get the news. Uh, rather than looking at the um, Washington Examiner or Fox or Epic Times, instead, uh, like what finger will uh, select things for you to look at. One good thing about uh, what finger he ought, they often choose good stuff. And also, um, they list next to their things the site that they get it from. I do find the page a little crowded. You have to read all these words for the titles. Um, but they do have a good variety of websites. So I would like to, and they also have the option on their site of going to 24-7 updates or top three page. So What Finger is one of the best sites in my opinion. The Bongino report is nice, but if you look, it does it by topic. They curate news for you. The problem is they don't list the source. And they don't list the time, which uh, one of what Finger's weaknesses is they don't list the date and the time for the articles. Um, in the case of the Bongino report, they don't list the date and time and they don't list the source. So that's a big negative. So I would go with what finger over the Bongino report for that reason. They got enough white space by these articles in small lettering to list the source and the time, in fact. So um, nice format for topic, but for the listings, they could improve that, I believe. Citizen Free Press just lists the links and gives titles to them and go straight down. I So they're curating the news for you. They're neither giving the date, time, nor the source. You have to arrow, you know. So I actually do not like the Citizen Free Press format. So it's what finger, then Bongino Report, then Citizen Free Press. See, the advantage of Bongino Report over Citizen Free Press is they divide this by topic. Citizen Free Press, it's just an easy to read straight down link thing, but not very good. The Revolver is similar to Citizen Free Press in that respect, and they are missing the actual um, news source, and they are skipping the date and time. So uh, Revolver is not much better than Citizen Free Press. The advantage of both Citizen Free Press and Revolver is they hide the source of your link. So for example, if I go to Mark Levin Drops Truth Bomb, you see that they bury the video on their page so that um, the actual link is hidden inside the page. So in an age of censorship, that kind of approach, if you look here, um, leaked emails. Uh, so that actually, oh, it says external link on it. So I go straight to the external link. Yeah. So, um, and the Tatum report Similarly, they do not list the news source or the, um, well, here they list the date, June 16th. Um, and they say here June 15th, and they say the author, but it looks like all of these are on the Tatum report um, rather than the actual place where they get the information, like according to the Daily Wire. So at least they hide the links in the page. In an age of censorship, you need 
to nest the links like that, probably to avoid being blocked. Um, but not thrilled with them not listing the original source and date and time, and they don't seem to organize it very much for you. Um, they do pop culture, law enforcement, politics. I think the Bongino Report has more topics, so they do a little bit better job that way. So What Finger News is probably the best. The Bongino Report and the Tatum Report is nice. And Citizen Free Press and Revolver are linear, straight down links. Okay, so let's move to the next group of news aggregators. Um, KNEWZ News Aggregator looks like it's largely a left-wing mainstream media corporate lobbyist controlled democrat controlled media you see cnn forbes atlanta journal constitution cnbc nbc news um usa today now fox I would say they are between the center, but moving left. They got Yahoo News here. So one plus is they list the news sources. I like the fact if you want something that's alternative to right wing, um, they have Al Jazeera, UPI, um, the Washington Post. But notice you don't see the Washington Times here. You see the Guardian because that's left wing. CNN, which is going dead, but, you know, still listed Washington Post left wing. So KNEWZ lays it out with the source. Um, now, if we look at the Hill article here, it was posted June 18th at 1.25 p.m. It's 3.43 so that is not too bad. Let's look at another one to see when they were posted 22 hours ago. So the news on there is fairly recent and left wing. Conservative News Daily organizes by news source. You see Newsmax, Fox News, Washington Gazette. Let's see, Bill Clinton sent agents to Area 51. If I reload the page, Notice now Biden mulling tariff decision is top. So this updates regularly. They, they, it looks like they just grab the stuff from Newsmax, Fox News, the Washington Gazette, the Federalist, One American News Network, the Gateway Pundit, Liberty Daily, American Thinker, Town Hall, Breibart, the Bongino Report, the Daily Wire, the Western Journal, Wayne Dupree, Washington Free Beacon, um, Breaking News, I think that's an aggregator, The Daily Caller, National Review, um, The Blaze, Red State, Washington Times, New York Post, American Spectator, uh, Liberty Nation, I believe that's an aggregator. The Babylon Bee is always a lot of fun. When I was your age, gas was $2 a gallon, says Guy to his buddy, who's one year younger than him. <laughs> I like that. Judicial Watch, Citizen Free Press. Top conservative news sites, they listed on the left. Um, some important links. So this is a nice site, but they, they do not list the date and the time, but they do curate the news from different sources. So whereas on Bongin, the Bongina Report, they do it by topic, conservativenewsdaily.net so um, does it by news source. So bonginoreport.com is by topic. Um, Conservative News Daily is by news source. Uh, so it's if you want news source, you go there. Now, news ammo, um, you can switch the mode between light and dark mode, which I like. Um, Let's see. American Greatness, Statesman at the Helm. Let me reload this page for a minute. 
Um, I do see there's twi uh, Donald Trump's Twitter, uh, Junior's Twitter on the right hand side. That's nice. They got one American news. They so they curate it by websites like Conservative News Daily does. They have a list of social media for various people like Glenn Beck, Kelly McEnany. They got video channels like Awaken with JP and Blaze TV. I see the National Pulse on this page, which is really nice because I like the National Pulse and they're a new, a fairly new um, website for news. Uh, they got the Daily Wire, Town Hall. So they have Twitchy on here, uh, Washington Examiner, which is nice. Just the News, which is a good but fairly new website. So the disadvantage on newsammo.com is that they do not list the date and they do not list the time. So let me, uh, let's just check a Newsmax listing to see when it was posted. Saturday, June 18th at 2.37 p.m., so that's an hour ago. So the page does look like it's updated. They list news aggregators on here like What Finger, which is good. So News Ammo is nice, but they, are, uh, they add some other news sources over Conservative News Daily, but, while, uh, but they have the same drawback as Conservative News Daily, as they don't list the date and time, but they are continuously updated. On first headlines, as you can see, it's left wing here, CNN, um, uh, let's see, well, Fox News, Washington Times is, is relatively conservative, NBC, that's left wing, ABC, it's left wing, CBS, far left, Democrat controlled sources mixed with some conservative sources. If you look on the right hand side, they have topics, for example, conservative. And you see you get a feed, the Daily Wire, Newsmax, just the news. And you get the Saturday, June 18th, 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So you get the news source. You get an up-to-date thread. You get the date. So I would say First Headlines is a nice page. One of the best, in fact, because they give you the date and the time. So they're constantly updated news. So, um, so it depends. So at First Headlines, it's different news sources, whereas News Ammo and Conservative News Daily have feeds from those particular sources. First headline has the advantage of the date and the time, and you can choose different feeds on the right-hand side. For example, if you want to choose President Biden, it gives you stuff with Joe Biden's name in it. You see his name in all these articles. If you want a topic like sports, if you want a particular country, you can click that country, like Taiwan, and here Taiwan is in the titles. So it's quite nice if you want to search particular topics as well on first headlines. So I must say, first headlines has got to be one of the best sites. Um, Badblue.com. Now notice, first headlines has the lock. It's secure. News Ammo has the lock. Conservative News Daily has the lock. New, uh, news Aggregator has that um, secure site. But if you go to Bad Blue, his website is not secured. He does um, have, uh, you know, the um, name of the news source. Jihad Watch or Red State, not the B, Sentinel. So Bad Blue is nice in that respect. You can click last 24 hours or last seven days. Now let's reload the page and see if it changes. Doesn't look like it really changed over here. Now let's check this um, Jihad story here up at the left. 
June 18th, 8 a.m. And it's 3.50 p.m. So um, Bad Blue does not seem to be updated, um, you know, by the hour. Um, it looks more like possibly by the day. Let's try another one. Um, let's try last 24 hours. And let's see what this one is. Under the post-millennial. So June 17th, 6.14 p.m. is yesterday. So, yes. So I would say Bad Blue, unsecured and not current, is worse than these other sites. Okay, so I would prefer KNEWZ, Conservative News Daily, Dot net, newsammo.com, firstheadlines.com, over badblue.com. Uh, Lucien.com. You notice it has the lock, which is a secure site. This site has a mixture of left and right, which looks nice to me. I notice that people on the website seem to give summaries of different news topics. And they seem to link you to the original article. So they comment on an article, and then they give a link to the original article. So I find that interesting. Um, but I, I don't see, like, regular news curated by the minute on this site. I also like the fact, um, if you go to their links page, they have a lot of links to different websites, but if you look, uh, there seem to be a lot of left-wing sites on there. I see CNN. Um, I do see the Washington Times also, um, and I do see the New York Post. Um, do we see Breibart on here? Yeah, they have Breibart, so that's acceptable. I notice they also go by state here. So if you check a state like Alabama, they give all different newspapers. Uh, but I discovered some of their links are dead and some of them are good. Like this one is good. So I like Lucien for the links to news sites that it gives. And uh, if you want to see what other people curate for you, or you want to try and join them and maybe post a new article and curate for other people, you can do that. So that's an alternative kind of aggregation for you. Uh, now, let me see. So I've covered quite a few. Let's go to the America First News uh, website. I noticed they seem to have feeds and an explore option. They also look like they are secure and have a login for people. So it looks like you might be able to turn on and off which news feeds you want to see on the page. They do have the name of the different news sources on the page, which I like. But I do not see the date and the time, which is a minus. So uh, um, I would say it's interesting, worth having a look, but does have some minuses. In contrast, um, so that was America, AM, the number one dot news. AM, the number one, dot news. And it does have various adjustments, like you can click dark and get the page like this, or you can unclick it, turns light. So it is customizable. So AM, one, dot news. Planetfreemedia.com is linear, but the advantage that they have over things like Citizen Free Press and Revolver is notice they put the the how long ago and the news site and they do have the topic like US 
or world. So they they combine all three. So I like planetfreemedia.com and I would say that uh, you know this is one that I would recommend from what I can tell um, because it combines all those features. Topic, news source, and how old the news is. So I would consider Planet Free Media for your news. Now, cinternet.org forward slash news dash aggregator forward slash. That's C-I-N-T-E-R-N-E-T dot -E org. Lists literally news aggregators a whole bunch. But I must say, do not go to usefulinfonation.com conservative blogs because that is a pornographic site. So their link is actually a bad link. Uh, if you know the people that run cinternet.org, let them know this is a bad link. Otherwise, the, it, there's a lot of good links here. Some of them are no longer good. Some of them are dead um, for news aggregators. And you can go pick your own. So that's what I uh, that's what that is useful for for finding your own news aggregators. Um, it's also uh, let me let me show you something about else about C Internet. If you click three hundred most popular news sites, they rank news sites, and they give you the top three hundred ones for conservative sites. So that's sweet. If you want to find sites that agree with your views, you can see which are the listed as the top ones according to cinternet.org. Um, do I agree with this? Yeah, that um, it looks pretty good glancing down at what they list. Just the News is an excellent site, so I'm glad it's up there. Revolver.News is pretty good. Um, you know that's actually like a news aggregator. Okay, so that's a, a good list of news sites for conservative. Runehammer is a not secure. Runehammer.com, R-U-N-E-H-A-M-M-E-R.com does not have a lock, so it's not secure. So that's a negative. But they do, uh, if I reload, 43 minutes, redstake.com. They give the title of the article, the news source, and how old it is. And they have a updating feed. So I like this for that fact. But uh, and it does have a sources page where you can look down and look at their individual sources. They give the news titles for those like conservative treehouse gives the articles. It tells you how old they are. So uh, that's nice as well. So room room hammer would be better if it was a secure page. But otherwise, uh, it's not so bad. Now, the number six, number three with the word red, dot com. Uh, this one, see, this is four hours ago. If I reload the page, these moved to five hours ago. It does say the news source, Gateway Pundit, Powerline B-Log, 100% fed up. It has a trending rumble, rumble channels. If you click things like memes, it will give you a feed with memes on it, which is nice. If you click news, it gives you some fairly recent news telling you the names of the websites, but it doesn't, it curates it for you. Um, if I click latest, then it does 38 minutes ago. So it's uh, it's nice that way. It's secure, and it, it does have a type of login. So you may be able to ad 
customize this for yourself. So we have reviewed a lot of news aggravators. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 15 news sites. I hope that gives you some guidance as to what they are, which are good and which are not. Uh, thank you for listening.